Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric C here. Hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing just great. So as you can see, the devil has some color to it now. Now, I'm using custom colors from the House of Color. And what's going on here is kind of a little bit of a wild effect. Now, I wish I took some video of this as I was spraying it. But the paint that I'm using, it's called uh, Unidentified Flying Object and Reentry Red. All right, the unidentified flying object has more of a silver to it than a white. That's why I use that as a base coat on this. And then I put the reentry red on top of that, which has uh, a little bit of a gold flake to it. So it gives it not really a bronze look to it, but it, it's, it changes. It's a little bit, it's different than what I've normally been using. So why did I put the silver down first? Well, these paints are, they're custom paints and they're kind of on the thin side. So when you, more color, more times you spray, the more color you start adding to it. And what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna start doing a custom guitar with the paints that I'm basically do with this, but I'm gonna stop at a certain point because of the effect that I had on this thing when it was hanging in the garage when I was spraying, really, uh, I don't know, I, it's, it's hard to explain. It's easier to see it than trying to explain it. But the silver base coat that was down, which is the unidentified flying object, is supposed to be a white, but it's got a silver flake in it. And it's a little bit on the heavy side of the silver flake. And they're micro flakes, they're not like big chips. So when I sprayed that on the whole body, and then I ended up putting this red on it, the first couple of coats, coated the body but was still transparent so you had this red effect but when you move the guitar around in the light it also went to a kind of like a silverish color and that was because that the coats that I had on the guitar were not uh, thick enough to make it to where it wasn't so transparent but it was unreal. It was actually pretty damn cool. And I'm going to end up doing this with another body that I'm going to end up doing, uh, getting and start doing a uh, build with it soon. So right now, this re-entry red has got like a very small microchip uh, gold flake to it. Okay. So it's not bronze, but it has a real nice look to it almost as a candy now right now i don't have a clear coat on here like a, a gloss clear coat there's a matte finish clear on here right now and the reason why i went with a matte finish is because when i add the striping onto here um i don't want to sand into the red and have the red bleed when i start getting rid of like every time you do any type of striping you're going to have a little bit of an edge on the sides of the stripe when you peel the tape off you got to sand that down a little bit and kind of blend it into where it's flush or pretty close to being flush with the body of the next color that's underneath it now what i don't want to happen is when i start getting rid of that little bit of an edge I don't want the red to bleed into the white. If that happens, it's going to turn to white pink and you're going to end up having troubles with it. So I hit this with a matte finish as far as the clear coat goes and I'm still using the Spray, spray Max. It's the 2K uh, clear, well, matte clear. And it looks fucking nice now. I mean, it's just unreal how this thing came out. and. I'm really happy with it the way it is right now. I mean, it should. I would put some more matte finish on here just to thicken it up because I only did like three light coats. I didn't go real, real heavy with it because I don't want to build the finish up on here too thick. Uh, I'd put a few more coats of matte on here and then call it complete, but uh, that's up to the owner of, the, of this guitar. So next one I'm going to end up doing is hitting this thing with some 1500 grit sandpaper just to get rid of, like there's a couple of spots right here, there's a little dot, I can feel it in my hands, there's a couple on the top over here, um, all the damage, like the chipping in the wood, uh, dents and shit have all been straightened out, it should be nice and even all the way around. I cleaned up the garage as much as I can as far as getting the dust, the leaves off the floor and all the crap so when the furnace would kick on it wasn't blowing any of that in the air. So I don't have much on here as far as like little 
pimples. And basically, it's kind of what they feel like is a little bit of a pimple. As far as dirt goes inside this fish, I, I, this thing came out. I'm, I'm really happy with the way this looks as is. And I'm going to end up doing this again with the same color. So I've got my black pearl. Now I'm waiting for the white pearl uh, to come in. And what I ended up doing is uh, I ordered actual pearl paints, but they also have a top coat that you put on top of it that is also a pearl itself. So this is not a clear. It is the same thing as the regular paints, but this is a spray-on pearl. So after I see what the white looks like, because it it's got a pearl in the white, the black has got a pearl in it, this just adds more pearl to the whole thing. Now, I don't want to put too much over this, all right? So if I do my striping, I'm gonna, body still masked off, I'm gonna hit it with the white. After I see what kind of effect that that white has as far as being a pearl goes, I may go over it with it still being masked up with this spray here, which is the actual pearl that goes over it, again, not being a clear coat. And then the black I'll do the same thing with when the body is still masked off because I don't want to change what this is right now. This has got a little bit of a gold uh, flake to it. I mean, it just... If this was polished right now, if this had a clear coat on it and I polished it right now, it would really pop out. It's just, I like it that much. So yeah, so this is what's going on with the body. It's getting worked on. It's got some color to it. I want, I can manage it, touch it and everything else, but I still wanted to let it dry for a few more days before I actually start doing anything more with it. So I got it hanging up in the basement, kind of chilling and, you know, just being for a little bit. But yeah, this thing really, really came out nice. I'm really happy with it. So to the owner of this guitar, uh, it's just a little bit of an update of what's going on. And uh, so you can see that, you know, I'm starting to get back into the guitar stuff. Still got a few more things with the computer stuff that I'm working on. I ended up picking up some uh, cables that I'm going to end up replacing. So this is going to the video card. This is an extension cable. It's got the LEDs built into it. And then I got one for the power to the motherboard. That's going to be taken care of as well. And then I got to work on the kid's computer. It's kind of slowing down a little bit. I think she just has too much crap on it. And I got to clean it off a little bit. But otherwise, yeah, she's looking pretty good. I mean, I'm liking this a lot. All the dents been taken care of. No problems in any of the horns. Yeah. I like it. I like this a lot. And for a matte finish, it feels really nice. I mean, I really like the matte finish on this. But a clear coat would really make this thing pop out. All right, guys, take it easy. Have a good one. Just a little bit of an update. Catch you later.